Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video where today, as you can see, I am back in my uh, room, which some of you may have seen two months back. Um, and well, you know, we have this new addition right here. <laughs> I came back and this was in here, but you know, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, today, um, what I've decided to do is to do a full core workout. So no push-ups, no burpees, uh, no pull-ups today, no dips, nothing like that. It's going to be 100% core work. And the reason is I feel that we often neglect core work, but it is essential when doing burpees. So today I just wanted to do a completely 100% core routine. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to be doing um, eight different core exercises. We will do 50 seconds of each with a 10 second rest. And we will then, after we've completed all of the exercises, we will do one more round of that. So it will also be in the description to make it a bit clearer, but we're gonna do flutter kicks for 50 seconds, then we'll take a 10 second break. Then crunches, 50 seconds, 10 second break, then leg races, sit-ups, Russian twists, plank, V-ups, and a tuck hold. Then after we've completed that one, we will do a one minute rest and we will repeat the whole process. So this is gonna take us uh, 17 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. It might not seem like that much to you, but once you get this routine going, you will feel that core burning. So just because it's a short routine, it doesn't mean it's not effective. All right, that being said, let's just get started. I'll keep this uh, right next to me because I doubt I'll remember each exercise. So we kick it off with flutter kicks, maybe get a towel or something uh, to make it a bit more comfortable for yourselves. Just got my timer right here. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, well, not exactly. Three, two, one, begin. We're at 30 seconds, 20 more. If you're following along, just stay with me. Almost there, 10 seconds. And rest. All right, we've got a 10 second rest and then we have crunches. Okay, four, three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds. Ten. All right, ten second rest. Then we have leg races. Three, two, one. Here we go, leg races. You should already feel that core burning. It should not feel very good. But then you know that you're doing it right. Ten 
let's take a rest. All right. Next up, we've got setups. Okay, get ready and go. Remember for sit-ups you have to go all the way, whereas crunches are not all the way, they target a different muscle in your abs. Fifteen seconds. Alright, 10 second rest. For the sit-ups, try to not use your hands um, because that will use less of your core muscles. Alright, now we have Russian twists. Here we go. Left to right. Keep your legs up. You can also do this exercise with uh, additional weight to make it even more difficult, but it definitely is not necessary. <sighs> Ten seconds. Okay, now we have a plank, 50 seconds. Next exercise are the V-ups. I didn't mean V-ups, I'll show you what I mean. I will correct the name. All right, plank, here we go. With five minutes in, you should really feel that burn. If you're not feeling the burn already, maybe you'll have to go for three rounds. Stay focused. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, down. All right. This is what I mean. Ah, this one's tough. <laughs> Uh, 10 seconds. Alright, that didn't go all that well, but to be expected with so much core work. And we have the tuck hold. Alright, here we go. You just want to stay here, keep your Palms up, uh, keep your core up so you don't want to be down here, up here, stay focused. You can also go all the way if you feel like it. To me, I'm not at that level yet. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one, and relax. Okay. We now have one minute rest. You really should feel your core. Uh, as I said, if you're not quite yet feeling anything, simply go for an additional round after we complete our next set and uh, you should be good to go. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good core routine in my opinion, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you feel like it, you could also uh, completely switch it up and uh, do this round. Take a one minute break. I'm gonna stretch a bit. Take a one minute break and then do eight other exercises. Completely up to you how you wanna do this. All right, here we go. Flutter gigs. We start in four, three, two, one. Twenty seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. Take a break. I think we have crunches next. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Twenty five seconds. You may notice you can't go as far up, that's okay. Go as far as you can, 10 seconds. So long as you're only using your core muscles, that's what counts. All right, leg races. And begin. Fifteen seconds. Uh, Ten second rest. Next up, we have setups. So you want to go all the way. These ones are going to be tough, but let's get it. Oh God. Twenty seconds. Ten. And rest. 
you can put your legs under something to help so that your legs don't move too much. Uh, yeah. Okay, Russian twists. Left to right, remember? You twist your whole body with this. Don't just do this. Twist your whole body. seconds. <laughs> and rest. Oh god. This is tough guys, this is tough. Alright, plank. 50 seconds. Keep your hips relatively low, but not too low. Try and keep straight. seconds. Ten. And down. Okay. Go how this is how this is done. Forgot to move the hands last time. Come on. seconds. Okay, break and then we have the tuck hold. Three, two, one, begin. Again, you can go further front if you can. Keep your core active, don't drop down, just hold it. I know it hurts, but just push through, 20 seconds. Ten. Two, one, ah, ah, and rest. Now you can see, even though this was only core work, I did get in a relatively good sweat. Obviously not as much as if I were to do burpees and and extremely high calisthenics uh routines let me just pause the timer in five four three two one okay uh obviously not as much as if i would do high volume calisthenics but i uh, still got in a good sweat you really should be feeling your core now again if you're not then simply do one more round or two more rounds uh, for me, this is okay. 
I'm now going to cool down with about 10 minutes of jump rope. Um, I'm not exactly sure where my jump rope is right now, <laughs> but I will find it. Uh, but that is the routine, guys. Again, I'll do a 10 minute jump rope now, 15 maybe, uh, just to cool down a bit, and then I'll stretch, and that should be it for the day. Um, and once again, I, I wanna stress the fact that just because it is a short routine does not mean it's not effective. Uh, short routines can very often be some of the most useful routines because you know, you're really putting uh, so much more effort into short routines uh, than if you were to do a longer routine, because if you're doing a longer routine, you will try and pace yourself more slowly, whereas for the short routines, you're really going all out. So you don't really take any breaks. That's why I only implemented the 10 seconds, simply uh, to have enough time to recover your abs slightly and get into the position for the next exercise. All right, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this routine. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know in the comment section. And as always, stay fit, stay healthy, stay strong. I will see you next time. Peace out, everyone.